Listen, what up, what up, what up? Man, listen. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something new today, I'll be honest with you, because I feel like I don't know, like we need some more long-term, long-form content as far as shit's really concerned, right? And this is gonna be more podcast style than anything, because I'll be honest with you, I mean you can't really see a whole lot in this all fucking video and shit. I'll tell you what, I'll turn the red light on so you can remotely see what's going on. Alright, well, I wanted to break this uh, story, not really breaking it, I mean, everybody kind of knows about it. So, the North Street pipelines have been blown up, right, in the Baltic Sea, off the coast of Poland and Switzerland, right, between Poland and Switzerland and Denmark. And there was a 2.4 magnitude explosion, right, registered on the seismograph in, you know, in the uh, Baltic Air, Baltic region as a whole. That blew up these two pipelines, first North Stream 2, then North Stream 1. Now, uh, North Stream 2 got shut down completely at the beginning of the war. North Stream 1 was offline through the leaks, right, that had been sustained in it. And then you have um, a Norwegian pipeline from Norway for natural gas, these are all natural gas pipelines, that ended up just coming online. Now, came online like a day ago. And today, the Nord Stream pipelines blow up. America is blaming Russia for blowing up their own pipeline, which, I'll be honest with you, that's kind of retarded at the end of the day, right? That's fucking stupid. Like, it's just, it's in general a dumb idea to think that, <laughs> like, Russia would blow up their only piece of leverage over fucking Europe, right? Legit. And, I mean, it, it would only make sense if, and this is a big fucking if, if they were trying to, like, stand here and starve out Europe to force them to interact in their, uh, and I mean, their market, try and have, like, you know, force them to get back to normalcy, normalcy between the fucking eight, between Russia and, you know, I mean, the EU as a whole. Right? And telling them that, like, the Americans shouldn't even be fucking involved in any of this shit. But, on the same point, their ability to turn the goddamn supplies back on is fucking retarded. And on top of that, it's a problem of where you're starving yourself, right? If you need fucking fuel, if you need money to fund this fucking war effort. So, with that being said, this most definitely heightens problems. Now, I haven't really looked up, like, how much natural gas is coming out of Norway. I know Norway is real sketchy when it comes to natural gas, like, pumping amounts, right? Like, they're real, real bitch made when it comes to that shit. They're like, we're only going to put so much out. But I mean, we're only going to do this much because like, we don't want our fucking economy relying upon this type of shit. Blah, 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 right? So, and on top of that, they're super duper about the green tech, all these type of things. Germany this year may not recover ever again, right? Like, the entirety of the German economy may disappear in the coming six, eight, ten months. Firstly, because of the demographic problem that's going on in Germany, right? Secondly, due to the fact that they don't have the industrial influence. Places like Poland and Ukraine and all these places are probably not going to recover from this as a whole. France and Italy, Italy just elected a new prime minister, uh, Georgia Maloney. Uh, she's a female. She's borderline. She is our version. She's their version of our Sarah Palin meets. God, I'm trying to think of somebody dumb enough, right? Like, I mean, because, like, Sarah Palin's dumb, but, like, this chick is really stupid. And she's super anti-gay, super anti-immigrant, super anti-global, super anti-EU. 
right? But on the same point, she's a populist, so she knows where the wind blows. So, I mean, she's a nationalist. Like, she's a socialist. <laughs> like, you know, it's, she's all the bad things rolled into one thing. I'll be honest with you. Right? Super based. Like, but not a very good representative of the, of the thinking class as far as shit's concerned, right? Like, you know, if there's somebody, like, who has their hand up her ass and is pulling the strings, it probably ain't a bad idea. But I highly doubt that's happening because she's an Italian woman and Italian women don't take no orders from dudes. So expect Italy to end up being a giant basket case in a clusterfuck over the next five to six years. Um, you're pretty fucked up right now. Legitimately, Europe is super fucked up at the moment. If I had to guess who blew that fucking pipeline up, I'd say Poland. Right? Because with the Maidan uh, massacre that happened, the U.S. trained the majority of the people who committed that in Poland. Poland is the condom that we're using to fuck everybody in the region. Basic premise, right? Poland is kind of like our Israel, as far as shit's concerned, right, in that area, or, or like a Qatar type of deal, a Bahrain, if you will, a Australia, or a New Zealand, right, it's a country with not a lot of geopolitical strength, not a lot of, like, ability to have anything unless it's given to them, a population of dummies, right, so, I mean, all of this is fucking super fascinating to a motherfucking like me. You know what I mean? And by the way, I want to say this too, right, while I'm here. I might as well, might as well put this out there, right? I have no reason, I have no idea why we're not, like, close allies with Russia. They have all of the stuff we need, right? Legitimately. Like, the amount of industrial inputs that Russia has that we need is fucking unbelievable. But we refuse to have an ally who doesn't bend the goddamn knee to us. And like, we don't need somebody who's gonna bend the fucking knee, right, legit. We need somebody who's strong where we're weak, right, legit. They are amazing at producing industrial motherfucking outputs. We're terrible at this shit. They are the world's best partner we can ever ask for, right? We have terrible geography. We have great geography, right? They're a land-based power. We're a sea-based power. They are our polar motherfucking, like, fucking duplicate. Legit. They're a multi-ethnic nation, right? Just their shit instead of black people, it's fucking, you know, Middle Easterners and Asians. Like, I really don't understand why it is that, like, we're, you know, like, at such odds with this country that we fucking need, like, all the green shit that these liberals want at, ah, you know, that's not going to happen without Russia, right? They got neon, they got fucking molybdenum, they got fucking nickel, they got fucking cobalt, they got fucking steel, they got fucking iron, they got fucking all of the stuff we need. Why are we so fucking, like... Why are we so goddamn hell-bent on destroying a nation we fucking need so much? Like, why are we so dumb? Why are our leaders so fucking retarded? Like, they could be an amazing ally. But instead, instead, we choose to make them the most fucking villainous people on the fucking planet. Dumb. Like it's so dumb. I don't know. Anyway, yo, look, man. I'm Tom Beans Pino News. Y'all know the deal, man. Like, share, subscribe for more than seven content. I'll be back later. I'll ask your motherfucking boy, Peace Like One. I'm out.